I've never been to Armenia. It's every Armenian's dream, of course, to go to their fatherland or motherland, wherever, whatever. But to actually go there, to be faced with the reality of seeing the place, walking on the same ground that for thousands of years Armenians have walked. I can't wait to experience for myself what it feels like to be where my culture started, to be where the music originated and was inspired. Can't wait. My first day in Armenia was spent being a tourist in the capital, Yerevan. There were so many different musical events planned for my short 10-day stay there. Of course, not the least of which was my debut with the Philharmonic Orchestra. But before I began singing, I wanted to get a glimpse of the place I'd read about only in books. There were so many impressions and so many feelings going through my mind on that first day, but what I was so deeply moved by was what a cosmopolitan and a vibrant place Yerevan has become. I had heard so many different stories, of course, from friends and family who had come here, but nothing had really prepared me for the actual experience. Because of our unfortunate history, most Armenians, like myself, are born outside of the country. So visiting it for the first time is a very emotional experience. The first few days were a blur of activity. I wanted to see everything, I wanted to do everything, but uh, surviving the traffic was our first goal. <laughs> what trip would be complete? without seeing Mount Ararat. <laughs> it's more than just a mountain, it's a symbol. And it plays such a large part in our poetry and songs. <sighs> we're told most of the year you can barely see Mount Ararat because of the haze, but we were lucky and it revealed itself to us on that very first day. <laughs> 